everyone, my name is Miss Scarlett Tenager and I am here with a new Let's Play. We're going to play some Stanley Parable. We're probably only going to do a couple videos of this, maybe just one every so often. I've seen the game, I've not played it myself, and without any further ado... Let's begin! The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. Never. <laughs> okay then. I've... Don't think I've seen all of the endings, but I have seen a couple Let's Players play in this game, and it seems to be rather entertaining. Come on, game. You got this. I know you got this. I need a game like The Stanley Parable that's goofy and weird, because I just finished recording P.T. Which wasn't as scary as people were making it out to be. It had its moments, but it was more frustrating towards the end than anything else. I like my scares and I like my horror, but I also like not being lost. That and I couldn't technically get the end of the game and see the trailer because I didn't have a headset for my uh, controller. Yeah. <sighs> ah, there we go. This is the story oh. of a man named Stanley. Hi. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I'm not a employee he. Employee number 427. My name's not Stanley. Was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Okay. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> this is what employee seconds. 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. Seems boring. And others might have considered it soul ending, yeah. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Hmm. And Stanley was happy. Was he now? Are you sure about this? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Okay. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Hmm, no one suspicious. had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Nobody wants to have in Stanley. all his years at the company had this happen, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to into his wits and regained his oh, yeah, senses, he got up from his desk Coffee. and stepped out of his office. Okay. Should I listen or should I not listen? I can't jump. Can I turn this off? Oh, I can. Click. Uh, this way. He hasn't said anything. I feel like the narrator is supposed to say something at this point. Computer! Turn off. Hello? My name's Scarlet, not Stanley. How are you doing? Did I miss something? Whoa. Um. What? This is weird. I get a feeling that this wasn't supposed to happen because I was supposed to be able to go through that door. Ah! Let me out. Let me out. Hello? I'll be right back. Oh, now it's working! That's, what could that's, it mean? that's good. Stanley decided happened. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Of course I immediately hit a glitch. Okay, is the meeting room this way? Ah, now I can go through the door. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um... What if I don't want to? Okay, we're going to listen to him for the first time so you guys can see what the original ending is. We're going to listen for once. And then we'll mess with him. 
Hello? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling Tips a wave not of disbelief, fired. Stanley less. decided to go up to his boss's I'm office, to talk, hoping Mr. he Narrator. might find an answer to there. So speak to let it ball up inside you, talk it out passive aggressively with other co-workers, resent co-workers for not supporting you more, let it ball up inside you. <laughs> so, using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure they do slide as a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on the text. <laughs> That's us. Buy quarterly post review review. We need less, we need more slash less reviews. Uh, 402 plus 405 want to get rid of the death sport portion of the primary review schedule. Okay, but I think that's super. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. Charts need to be more hip. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. <laughs> Work hard or hard worker. Okay. To do synergize core value expenditures. Shift goal. Shift global market. Par parade paradigm. Monetize free to play. I don't think that's how science works. Chris, get out of the broom closet! <laughs> Does that mean that I should stay in the broom closet for a while? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Sure, why not? Yes, I'm going to actually listen to him. At least once. Don't worry about it. Where am I going? And there's nobody here! Oh, no! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to oh. discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, I see a door. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated Thank this. Thank you, audio what breaking. What dark secret was being held from him? Alcohol, can I have some? What he could not have known nom, was nom, that nom, the nom. keypad behind the it's boss's Chianti. desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had Listen. been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an <laughs> extra secret pin number: two eight. Four, five. But of course, Oops. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two, eight, four, five. Yet incredibly, by simply <laughs> pushing the buttons, buttons on, on the, the keypad, keypad <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct What's code this? by sheer luck. Amazing. Cool. He stepped into going? the newly opened passageway. Okay. We're gonna trust the narrator this time. We can distrust him later. Mistrust. Dis destroy to blow everything up yes that sounds like fun I like blowing things up loading 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 load 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 this game takes a while to load and it's stuttering and I have a really good computer it's probably because I'm also exporting something at the same time I never learn. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Not it was he. a stirring My of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. But he was happy! Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Sorry about that, guys. My roommate wanted to tell me something. Anyway! Hello? Stanley walked straight Oop. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mind Control Facility. Okay. Hello? It's an idea! Button! That's, what's it say? I can't read that, it's too small, let's push it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he, did he have the strength to f find out? Um, maybe he, he did, 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 did. Possibly. Can I push a button? What's that say? Employee observation protocol. It's a copy. I can't pick anything up though. Now the monitors Whoa. jumped to life. Their ha, true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. There's only two people that got fired. The lives of so many individuals reduced <gasps> to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally uh -oh. monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Well, I'm controlling him now, so he doesn't really have freedom anyway, so haha. <laughs> this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Well, obviously it's also that guy got fired. Been under so someone's that one. control all this time? 
Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Under my that control. his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yep. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Uh, it was unthinkable. Mine. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Apparently, yes. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. Seeing as his entire job was pushing buttons. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Mind control Happy status offline. Or sad. Or content. Walking. Eating. Working. Push, all of it push. monitored no, and commanded it. from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in... Console Stanley disabled. decided click, click, click. that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Cool. For he would dismantle the controls once mind and control, for all. I, mind control's idle awaiting input, so... Turn it on! No. Turn it off. I said I was going to listen to him, so we're going to listen to him. At least this once. Um... Game? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Okay. Was it over? No, probably not. We still have a lot of goofing around to do. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled oh, himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Yay! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? I killed him. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Well, what I'm controlling him, so... this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it it's was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell it's a brick him where building. To go, what to do, or how to feel. Except for me, because I'm controlling Whatever him. life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Okay, can I go Stanley now? Stanley stepped I can't jump. through the open door. Can I turn around and leave? Can I turn around and go back inside? That'd be funny. No, for Stanley now we'll listen. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Aww. Now let's screw everything up, right? Let's see what happens if I go extra super fast. Go! All of his co-workers were gone. Don't what care. Did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nope. Shut up, narrator. See if I can go fast enough that he yells at me. When I Stanley think that came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Already done that, dude. Let's see how quickly I can walk through here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, it's gone. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he'd come to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs you know what? No, to we're his going boss's downstairs. office. We're going downstairs. Because why not? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Yep. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Go back All to work. because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Well, everyone had vanished. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers just mysteriously itself. out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. 
It happens. None of it made any logical sense. Sure it does. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. They, they For example, all, uh, why had a party couldn't he see his me. feet when he looked down? What? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, <gasps> yes. these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yeah. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. This is turning I'm into a dream. He yelled. This is all a dream. No, it's not. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Sure. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Let's start so flying! He imagined oh. himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Ah, I'm flying! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. Whoa. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not Let's woken do something up. Else. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself so sooner. Okay. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? The narrator's Now the voice brain. was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. He was thinking about I'm the thing that's in his head voice considered... Describing me, thinking about how it's, it's describing, describing my thoughts, thoughts, he thought. And now and it's describing it what odd, I thought of the thoughts, thinking about him, the thoughts that I thought dreams, he thought he thought. The truth was that, of course, that's... this was not a dream. <gasps> how could it be? Gasp. Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Maybe. Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Mm -hmm. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. <gasps> yes. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. And the Did narrator the voice not see him throw to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... I need to wake up. That'd be he good, would right? prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Okay. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. I can't move. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Mm, we're gonna go to bed, The fresh now. air of a world outside this one. <sighs> Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. It's probably not going to Let be over. Let me go back to, to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife. I have a wife? And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My, my life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. No, it won't. I am okay. I'm gonna die at the end of this one, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna die. I'm still here. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. I have Please, a wife, apparently. Please, someone tell me I am real? I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? He's like, and everything went black. He's so nonchalant. I love the narrator's voice. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. What happened she to Stanley? arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Stanley died. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. So, hmm, who are he was you? obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. Not true. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Yeah, I am sure. sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, 
and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Um, but then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled person. for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, hmm. and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. <laughs> but didn't she call for an ambulance? That woman's not very nice. Not at all. Anyway, my name is Miss Scarlett Tanager, and we have been playing some of the Stanley Parable. If you want to see some of the more endings or want me to play it some more, um, my name is Miss Scarlett Tanager, and we have been playing some Stanley Parable. I'll see y'all in the next video.